In 2015, Ben Ward was nominated for an East Kimberley Aboriginal Achievement Award for his contribution to art and culture. And I was excited to get something like that. Nobody ever told me I'm, I'm a good worker. Made me feel good. I said, oh, yeah, hey, they listen, they see what I'm doing all right. Made me understand. You know, I get this, hey, I didn't know I could achieve that much already you know, in, in my feeling and thoughts. I felt proud to be, you know. Nominee, I said, oh, well, I'm glad people take a notice of who I am. And I don't just do it for me, I do it for everybody. He believes this award ceremony has a vital role to play in promoting Aboriginal people in the East Kimberley. An achievement award for Aboriginal people, they definitely need that. No one else recognised us before. It shows the people that are trying to achieve something for our community. Ben has been strongly involved in land rights and community issues throughout his life and has had many leadership roles. It was only seven years ago that he started painting at the Warrangarri Art Centre and in a short period of time he'd achieved success. Only four years after starting to paint, Ben was the first Indigenous person to receive the prestigious John Fries Award for Emerging Artists for his painting, Our Country. I'm ashamed first when I did my first painting. I was embarrassed really. I was thinking about, oh look, they're gonna laugh at my painting, you know. I got over that because I've created something different, like the triangle. Now I've got us teaching our young people something new in an old-fashioned way, we've got to teach them in this modern way so they could understand it better. Ben will introduce his latest work to a contemporary art audience at Australasia's premier contemporary art fair in Sydney. Being a leader, you always got to find ways of, um, how can I get my message out, you know? How can I do this? How can I do this to get my message there? Well, I do mine by painting to tell young kids about country. Because when I showed that to the young kids, they said, wow, look at that. This art, it's a therapy. Especially for a disabled person like me, disabled, I can't walk, I can't do this anymore. So this art eased my mind right off. Ben's formula for success is to take on challenges. I do anything, anything and everything. There's always a challenge. If you can get over that, that gives you, makes you a better leader to get over anything that's in front of you as a barrier. In 2015, Agnes Armstrong received the East Kimberley Aboriginal Achievement Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement to Arts and Culture. What a shock when they called my name. I was happy. She regularly teaches kids painting and is also a Mirawong language teacher and dancer at functions and ceremonies. For me, I like to do everything. My painting, my dancing, my language. I love to paint because of my country. Agnes encourages people to nominate for the awards and believes that the awards are an important way to acknowledge the contributions Aboriginal people have made to preserving arts and culture. It's important for us what we do and what we think about our life. Agnes has been painting since 1982. Her paintings connect story, place and childhood memory. Warren Gary Art Centre has exhibited her work all around Australia. Since the awards, Agnes has been busy painting and carving for the Warren Gary Art Centre as well as exhibiting around Australia.